Hey guys, Cloran King here. I want to talk about a topic that's very important and also something I've been coming across a lot lately uh, that's not done correctly or at all, and that's equipment bonding. So, why is it important to bond your equipment? The whole point of bonding your pool equipment is to make sure that um, all your electrical equipment, including, you know, like your light, your pool light, you know, your pool pump, um, salt system, if you will, anything that involves electricity should be bonded because it should be bonded on the same loop because that's what keeps electricity out of the water. You know, you hear stories about people diving in, they get shocked, or they'll stick their hand in their foot and uh, feel some electricity, some current in the water, and it's because the pool's not bonded properly. Uh, so that's why it's so important. And I've been finding when I go to these jobs, like these pumps we put in, it's not bonded or or you know um, I just did a job this morning with a heater I bonded a heater that was never bonded when it was first uh, installed and that that's all a health issue or a safety issue for for the clients so it's very important that if you're operating the pool that you make sure that stuff's taken care of so now that you know that what do we do well when the pool was first built the builder should have ran um, bonding wire through the grid of the pool over to the pool equipment and uh, and then attach all the equipment there at the time of installation. And it's going to be a number eight copper wire. It's going to be uh, either bare copper or it's going to be housed in a green sheath, but it's got to be number eight. And that's what's ran to all the bonding lugs to the appropriate piece of equipment. And once you do that, that's what keeps electricity out of the water because it's, it um, eliminates it from going into the water. So if you put in if you replace a pump or put in a salt system you need to run the bonding wire to it and you just need to reattach the bonding wire to the pump and if you're putting in a salt system you probably don't have enough run to get up to the salt panel so you need to join the uh, bonding wire uh, to another piece and run it up to the salt panel how do you join it well then there's several incorrect ways to do it one is just twisting it together i've seen that dozens of times I recently just saw a, uh, a wing nut uh, bonded to pieces of bonding wire together and that's incorrect as well. The only way to do it up to code is to use a copper split bolt. So basically it's a, a bolt that's got a hole cut out in the center of the bolt and the two copper wires sit between there and then the nut that's on it tightens it all together and makes it basically one unit. So that's the only way that you can join two different pieces of bonding wire together and that's how you you know, you bond piece of equipment that are, are added later. Uh, in fact, that job I was talking about earlier, uh, the late, the heater was added and when I took the pool on, I pointed out to her just recently and ended up bonding it. So the issue with that particular instance was the heater was not anywhere near the equipment pad. I have a video that I, I videoed it to show you what I'm talking about, but uh, I actually had to trench out uh, and put the bonding wire on the ground and if you're doing that, any time that you have bonding wire coming out of the ground, you should secure it in rigid conduit and anchor it somehow to protect it. So that way, you know, if someone's doing yard work or someone walks by and accidentally kicks it, it doesn't break the bond and uh, cut the wire. So that's a very important thing to do if you start getting into adding bonding wire, uh, having to trench it underground and things like that. So if you're not comfortable doing any of those things, you do need to contact a licensed pool contractor uh, such as myself or a licensed electrician and make sure that it is bonded correctly to protect your clients and uh, again you know hopefully if you guys have been watching my channel and you see what I'm all about I'm all about creating value for my customers and doing things the right way so this is just another step you know when I told the lady that uh, she was very surprised and also very impressed with me uh, because you know I, I have their best interest at heart and you all should too so just do a good job do everything the best you can and pay attention to the bonding wire and I think you guys will be giving your clients a good service so have a good day everyone don't forget to like and subscribe as always and I'll see you next time